Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. So in this video, I'm going to review another custom ROM for Redmi Note 6 Pro. And this time we have Superior OS based on Android 13. And let's go and check how superior this ROM is. So as we usually do, so first of all, we will go to setting and check our Android version and other thing. So as you can see, Android 13 and the security patch level. So let's go maybe here device name i cannot find the security patch level yeah security patch level is january 5 2023 and this is the latest build of superior os maybe there is a new version of it i have been trying this rom for seven to ten days now and it's an awesome experience though so first of all um the rom wise actually it's very much look like dot os i have reviewed uh maybe a month ago which was based on android 11 but this time we have android 13 based rom and it's kind of similar rom actually but you are getting like like mix of android 11 and android 13 uh user experience together here so it's really good actually this rom and there is actually no cons about this rom but there are some disadvantage of this rom i will tell about those things too so first of all if we come here so it doesn't come with much apps actually so it's do come uh, does come with gcam uh, go and i have installed another camera and gcam i have installed that one is working perfectly fine in some of the roms actually the gcam i installed never work properly sometimes the audio doesn't work in video recording or sometimes it records audio but it records from like few seconds later on so I got many problem about this kind of thing. But in this case, these ROMs cameras are working perfectly fine. And as you can see, nothing much comes with this ROM, but the disadvantage started here. First of all, it doesn't come with GApps. So you have to install GApps and I have installed GApps core here. As you can see, just come with Play Store and YouTube I have installed from Play Store because I have to check this ROM. And safety net check is failed because uh maybe because of the google play service are not here that's why so you cannot use bank apps here so these are two disadvantage of this rom and if i go another disadvantage is that in hotspot option you are not getting five gigahertz band in this rom too so there is there is no such a thing here and another disadvantage is there is no xiaomi parse option where you can calibrate your display setting to not to get like a screen retention problem but in this case uh the screen retention problem is there but it's very less uh the, the calibration of display is really good in this room so it's very less and another thing is always it's like android 13 so you are getting uh notification panel is to look like android 13 although it's similar to dot os as I said, it's similar to DotWest, but the notification panel is, panel is from AOSP based Android 13 ROM. So it's really cool actually, but, and also you are getting individual option to turn on Wi-Fi and internet data. So if you, if you care about this kind of thing, it's here. So you will not have any kind of issue. So now come to the good parts of this ROM, why this ROM is really good, I said. First of all, all that uh, Android 13 based ROM has a problem with double tap to wake up. But in this case, this ROM actually don't have that that issue you can double tap on your screen and turn on uh i have tried many android 13 based rom right for redmi note 6 pro and all the rom has this issue but in this rom i did not get that issue it's really good uh, <clears throat> another uh good uh thing of this rom is that battery backup so it's really good here battery backup you will get maybe five hours of screen on time which is really good for a five years old phone five or four years old phone it's really great and for security security option you are getting fingerprint and face unlock although i'm not using face unlock here but uh fingerprint does work perfectly fine although the animation is a little bit slow and and sometimes it miss fingerprint so as you can see sometimes it miss but uh, it does work perfectly fine no is no issue with that and if you want to set up Face unlock you can do that too and also it has app lock and other things those things also you can do and if you like uh think about the customization it has a lot tons of customization actually so if you go to like superior lab so you can change whatever you want so you can do whatever you want here and maybe it has a 
I'm not sure about that. It has like uh, gaming mode too. So as you can see, so here you can see like unlock higher FPS in game. So it has here. So you can do that. My, maybe it can unlock like 90, 90 FPS on your PUBG game. You have to try it because I don't play games on this ROM. So I haven't tried it. But anyway, in my uses, I haven't found any issue with that. So another things of this ROM is that it does show the the proper revival ROM. So as you can see, it's 1.2 gigabyte now free. And in some ROMs, they show wrong info about this kind of thing. So in this case, there is no issue with this thing too. And also there is an app where you can get a lot of wallpaper for this ROM. All of them, which comes with superior logo, which this ROM is, as you can see, superior OS. So kind of really good ROM if you don't you don't really care about bank apps and other things like uh, security that much and if you take a bit hassle to install G apps I think this this ROM can be a really good daily driver ROM so give it a try and I will put the link in the description below about, uh, about this ROM and also the G apps I have used in this ROM so thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.